Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to be using area model and distributive property to multiply a two digit factor by a one digit factor. Now I know area model is something that your mom and dad have never probably learned about and it has been a topic of conversation for a few years now. But let's see how easy it is that we can use this, this technique to help us multiply. So when we're doing this form, there's three definitions that we need to remember. We've already learned these before, but now we're going to apply them. The first one is expanded form. Remember, expanded form just means to write numbers by writing the sum of the value of each of the digits. For example, if you had 345, that would be the same as 300 plus 40 or 4 tens plus 5. So we will be using expanded form. We're also going to be revisiting the distributive property. We've talked about the distributive property already, but let's review what that means. It just means that you're multiplying the sum by a number is the same as multiplying each added in by the number and then adding the products. So basically we're just going to be breaking up a number, breaking it into different, different parts based on its place value and distributing the other factor through. You'll see an example of that in a minute. Finally, we need to remember what does it mean to find the area of a rectangle? When we multiply the length times width, we get the area, and the area is the inside of a rectangle. And so our formula would be area equals length times width. So we're going to be using all three of those, those terms to find the product of our multiplication problem. So let's look at an example. If I have the problem 5 times 36, I'm going to start by finding the expanded form of 36. So 36 is equal to 30 plus 6. That's saying it has 3 tens and 6 ones. Then I'm going to use the distributive property to multiply. So remember we had 36 times 5. We're now going to distribute the 5 through. So 5 times 30 plus 5 times 6. That's what the distributive property means. It's just taking the other factor and multiplying it through the number that we just expanded. Finally, we're going to use the concepts of area to make an area model. We're going to be using 5 as the length and 30 and 6 as the width. Since we have two different numbers, 30 and 6, we're going to need two rectangles. So our model will look like this. It will be two rectangles next to each other. We're going to put 5 as our length, and above the first box, we'll put 30, and above the second box, we'll put 6. So now we have two rectangles, one with a length of 5 and a width of 30, and the second one also has a length of 5, because they're both the same, and a width of 6. So now remember, to find area, we do length times width. So we're going to start in the first box, and we have 5 times 30. We remember when we're multiplying times ten, uh, multiples of 10, I can take my basic fact of 5 times 3 is 15, so 5 times 30 is 150. In the next box, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our length of 5 times our width of 6, so 5 times 6, and 5 times 6 is 30. So if you look back at the distributive property, we take both of those two products and add them together. So now we're going to have to take the products in our area model and add them together. So 150 plus 30 equals 180. And therefore, 5 times 36 equals 180. So that's basically what you would be using to find, use the distributive property and an area model to multiply. We'll do one more example. This time we have 4 times 62. We're going to, again, start with the expanded form of 62. So 62 is equal to 60 plus 2. Then we'll use the distributive property to multiply. So we'll have 4 times 60 plus 4 times 2. Finally, we're going to use our area model to multiply through using 4 as the length, 60 as the width, and 2 as the width. So, when we're writing this too, by the way, you do not need to write those forms to the left. We're only going to need to write what we have to the right, just so you know. So now we're going to multiply through. 4 times 60 is 240. 4 times 2 is 8. And then again, we have to add both 240 plus 8. 
our two products to get our total of 248. And 248 will be our answer. So just to recap, the first step that we're going to need to do when we're multiplying a two-digit by one-digit number using area model, first we're going to need to write the expanded form, then we'll be using distributive property, then using the area model. I will say sometimes you may see it without writing the step of the distributive property. You might just see the area model, or you might just see distributive property and not see the area model. Either way, you can both get to the final product. I hope that you like this video. Please click like below if you found it helpful. Also subscribe for more math lessons at mathmaniac-4th grade. Bye. Have a great day.